To begin lesson 2.2, properties and operations, we're going to talk about two identities. The first one is the additive identity. It's a number that I can add to another number and get that other number back. For instance, 4 plus what will give me 4. That's the identity part of this. The 4 retains its identity. 4 plus 0 is 4. And just like, I don't know, we could do 1 million plus 0 and get 1 million back. So the additive identity is 0. That's the number we can add to anything and get that anything back. We also have something called the multiplicative identity. It's just like how we added 0 to any number. This is the number I can multiply by any number and get that number back. What I'm talking about is 5 times what number gives me 5. Well, it's 1, just like 7 times 1 gives me 7. So the multiplicative identity is 1. Okay, let's go to the back. We want to do a quick review of our statements that we've talked about over the last couple lessons. This was supposed to be supposed to be matching, but really all the properties are just right across from each other. The identity property of multiplication, here's negative 5 times 1, giving us negative 5 back. The commutative property tells us how we can commute or move numbers around, so 2, time, two plus negative 9, same thing as negative 9 plus 2. The identity property of addition, y squared plus 0 equals y squared. And finally, the associative property, how we associate different numbers. So 2 times p times q is the same thing as 2p times q. Okay, the last topic we're going to discuss on this section is called unit analysis. And what we need to discuss unit analysis are these handy little helpers, so to speak, called unit multipliers. Now, unit multipliers have a value of 1. Now, remember, whenever you take a number and put it over top of itself and divide, you get 1. That's essentially what 3 feet over 1 yard is. This is the same amount of distance over the same amount of distance. It's just in different units. And they're going to help us convert different lengths. Okay, so let's talk about something like converting 32 feet to inches. Whenever we do these conversions, we always start with what we know over 1. So we have 32 feet over 1. The diagonals then must match. Notice how I have feet up here and one foot down here. That's because we're going to cancel those. And my unit that I'm trying to convert to or get to is on the top, inches. 12 inches and one foot. Here's the unit multiplier right here. 12 inches is equal to one foot. Then we just simply multiply straight across the top. So let's try one. How about 508,000 feet to miles? We start with 508,000 over 1, and we know we're in feet right now. So now we're going to do multiplication and multiply by some unit multiplier. Since feet were on top, I know feet have to go downstairs. I'm trying to go from feet to miles, and I know a conversion very easily that I can do that. 5,280 feet equal one mile. So anytime feet are with miles, I know 5,280 goes with the feet. And one mile, one goes with the mile. Now, I'm just going to multiply straight across the top. 508,000 over 1 times 5,280. And I'm more than happy if you leave your answer like this. You don't actually have to divide that out. But if you want to, you can. Okay, here's our next one. 53 kilometers to meters. Now, there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. This is going to be our unit multiplier right here. And we're going to use it in this fraction right here. Kilometers are on top so we know they have to go on the bottom of the next one. That's because diagonals must cancel. 
Well, I'm trying to get the meters, so meters goes on top. Now, if we look at our unit multiplier, when meters are with kilometers, 1,000 meters and 1 kilometer. Notice the 1,000 goes with the M, the 1 goes with the kilometer. Okay, finally, let's convert 16 yards to feet. Start with 16 yards, that's what I know, over 1. Now, here's where my unit multiplier is going to go. But what I need to do is figure out what it is. Now, don't get too caught up on these unit multipliers because I'm not going to make you memorize them. I'll give them to you on the board or on the test or on our worksheet or whatever we're doing in class. One yard is equal to three feet. Since I have yards on top, I need yards on the bottom of this one. And I'm trying to get to feet. Whenever yards are with feet, there's one yard to three feet. And we're just going to multiply straight across the top, 16 times 3 over 1. And like I said up above, I'm fine if you leave your answer just like this. I guess we should go back and clean up number 2. We should multiply across the top here, 53 times 1,000 over 1. And that's meters. Okay? If there was any part of this lesson that you found confusing, maybe especially the unit analysis part, go ahead and go back and watch it again just to make sure you got all the details. And we will start with more conversions in class.